What's going on my friends? I hope everybody is doing great. Thank you guys for tuning in. So this recap from this weekend is going to be kind of a little bit mixed up. So I wanted to kind of explain uh, what the week was like. And I, I recorded this once and it was like 25 minutes long. So I kind of want to do this short and sweet and then get to some of the footage. So Bubba, who is one of our, our beloved techs that moved to Florida um, right before prom door, he, uh, he flew up this past week to help us for this graduation. The graduation is a big deal for us. It's one of our bigger productions. Um, and it, it's really important that these events go over really well for us because I think these are going to be, you know, some of the events that we, we, we grow into more. Um, so this school, they do their graduation on their, their actual uh, football field. And they also have a second turnkey set up inside. So the week kind of starts off on Wednesday when Bubba got here and we, we had a ride down to Richmond, which is about a two and a half hour ride, um, to pick up some staging. And the reason why we go down there is that we, we use IntelliStage. It's what, it's what we have uh, in house. Um, but for the graduation, for the indoor setup, we need more panels. And unfortunately, unfortunately no one around the DC area has IntelliStage that has the, uh, the, the tough, uh, cover or tough finished um, stage. They, they, everyone has carpet. And I just don't think the, the presentation of carpet slash a tough finish would look right. So, you know, it's important to me that we, we, we look good, you know, inside and out. So we, we make the trip down to Richmond to get the additional pieces of staging. And kind of on the way down, Bubba and I, you know, recorded some vlog stuff. Just going down memory lane talking about past events, you know, the history of, of Bubba and I. Um, so we'll have that video for you guys um, right here. We got Bubba. Right Bubba is with me all the way from Florida. He bailed. He bailed on the, the prom tour this year. Bubba's worked with us for probably three years, two, three years. Well, and he's still working. He's still working for us. And we were going to uh, set up for an event one night. And I'm like, hey, you ready for the prom tour? And he goes, I got to talk to you about that. And that's where he dropped the bomb that he was picking up shop and moving to, to uh, Florida. I told you two months prior. Two months? It was like, no, it was two weeks. It was not two no, weeks. Three weeks tops. It was not two weeks. But he gave me the heads up. So we've been so we've been struggling, but we, we've made it through prom tour without him. But uh, Felipe has been busting his hump like crazy, but making that money. So yeah, we thought it'd be kind of cool to, since Bubba's been with us for a while, to kind of, not really reminisce, but kind of talk about the stories from from events. There's, I know we have, you know, our war stories. So I don't know if you, if you have any, any kind of story off the top of your head you can think about. Like, when we set up in Culpeper and I drove all the way back to DC. Oh, okay. To get, to get out of the chili cook-off. So this this event, we, we this was like a suicide weekend for us. We had, and if you guys know um, what our, what our current trust setup looks like. By the way, our promo video will be dropping uh, probably. I think either I think I'll probably wait till next week to do it. So we got a full week um, from, from Tuscarora, which had the current trust that you guys saw. It's a huge setup. It's it's one of our, our signature looks that we've been you know really introduce, introducing and pushing in this area. But we had the curve truss set up Friday at the National Conference Center, and we had to pack up that night, which took forever, and then set up again the exact same setup um, in Culpeper for Culpeper's prom. And it was myself, Bubba, Tracy, and who was the the Jeff. Tra Jeff and Travis, and the, the no, thing was, Travis yeah, Travis was there, that's the last event Travis has ever worked for us. Oh, okay. Um, so Travis was kind of tired and aching, you can just kind of see, like, when someone's just kind of worn out, you know that they're, they're going to call out the next day, and so we, I kept asking him, hey, you know, because Bubba had off that Saturday, because he was going to go to the chili cook-off, and um, I, I could tell from looking at Travis that he was not going to show up. And I said, Dude, you're going to be there. You're going to be there, right? He goes, yeah, I got it. I'm well, like, how did you, I was like before? you need to tell me right now if you're not, if you're not going to be there so I can get, I can get crew. I was like, Bubba's off. I'm not, we can't rely on Bubba to, to be there because I, you know, this is the weekend. 
He has tickets to this event. He's asked off months in advance for this event. Like, I want to make sure Bubba can go to this. Yeah, yeah, man, I'll be there, I'll be there. And I wake up, I have... That was the night that I had the water and fuel light come on in the truck, so I had to drain that super early. And then I get a text message from Travis. Yo, man, I ain't gonna make it today. And I was just like, I'm fucked. I, I, at this point, you know, we're about to roll out to the venue. I, I don't have any other staff to call. Like, we were in such a bind that weekend, and I was trying to do everything in my power to l let Bubba have off. And so I had no choice to... I, mean, I, I don't even think I asked you to work. I kind of just was texting, letting you know what happened. And this is where Bubba is, like, one of the most amazing friends and employees you could ever ask for. He goes, dude, I got you. And he... He skips. It doesn't skip. He no, goes, he drops the tickets off to the chili cook-off, runs back to meet us. Now, the chili cook-off's in D.C., if you guys are familiar with the, the, the Virginia, D.C. area at all. So he goes from his house, drops it off, and the, uh, the tickets off to his friends in D.C. Um, so that's probably about a 45-minute trip there. From there, he turns around and hightails it out to uh, the, the venue that we're at in Culpeper. So that's probably another hour and a half, two hours. Helps us sit up, turns around, runs two hours back to DC for the cook-off. And then at the end of the event, comes back and helps us tear down. I mean, I was so pissed at Travis for bailing because I gave him the, the opportunity to get out. And so, I gave so him many so chances. many chances to... to Tell me he wasn't going to make like, it. So I already I know you're going to say no. Just, just. Yeah, I was like, look, if he was going to know that night, that's fine. I would have been able to get it covered. But I, I couldn't have, I couldn't pull it off the, the morning of. And, um, I mean, I can't tell you how grateful I was that Bubba came back and, and saved our ass. Because there was no way the three of us were going to be able to get that setup done without a fourth person. So, yeah. That, that was... And then I think I had a wedding that Sunday, too. So that, that, I, I remember that weekend. That was like our suicide weekend because we had the two big-ass dances. Yeah, and then I had a, I had a wedding, um, which, which was just crazy. So it's just kind of like a trip down memory lane, like I said. It was fun. It was great to have Bubba on that ride and kind of, you know, catch up, catch up with my, uh, my old friend. Um, so Thursday was the, uh, the sound check. So we, we get up early Thursday morning, we go over to the school for a sound check, and then we begin set, uh, setting up the indoor stage. Now, the school wants to have the graduation on the football field, um, but because one year, I mean, they had just torrential downpour, and, and the videos on YouTube, I mean, I'm not talking, it's just a quick shower, I mean, it was just the biggest water drops you could imagine, you know, at such a fast rate. And really, at that point, when, when it hits in the middle of graduation, what do you do? You're already calling names for students. You can't just stop and say, we'll finish this in a couple hours, or we'll, we'll come back to this tomorrow. Like, you just you just have to do it. As long as there's no lightning and it's, it's, all, it's still safe for everybody, you know, you're good to go. But, you know, they, they now have a turnkey set up inside, so if they think that it, it may rain, they're, they're ready to pull the, you know, pull the plug on the outside and go inside. And I mean, it, it legitimately is a turnkey ready. There, there's audio consoles ran, wires are ran. You know, the, the, the gymnasium where we set up can't hold everybody. So we have a second um, remote area in the auditorium with uh, projection screens and sound. And so we, have to, we send an audio feed from the gymnasium to the auditorium as well as a video feed. And it's not right next to each other. It's about three to four hundred feet away. So fortunately, it's a straight shot down, you know, through the cafeteria in the hallway. But it's a long run for a video video signal, um, and and not so hard for audio, but definitely a long run for a video signal. Um, so it's it's a bit challenging, but it it can be done, and we were prepared for it. Um, but fortunately, we were able to go with the outdoor setup and. and you know, like I said, they, they have both ready to go. So the outdoor setup, uh, we use a stage line trailer um, that is brought in. And if you guys don't know what stage line the trailers are, you know, they have multiple different lines of their trailers. Um, so we kind of get the smaller one. 
Uh, and it comes in, it looks like a really tall uh, enclosed trailer. And they, they bring it on, they drive it onto the field. You know, the field's soft, we have to lay down plywood, which is a nightmare and takes forever to lay plywood about 70 to 80 yards. And just, just, plywood's expensive. So you have to get, you know, 15, 20 sheets and just leapfrog it all the way out to the point. And then after you get the, the, the trailer there, you still have to leapfrog the, the truck that was pulling it off the field. But fortunately, it hasn't been raining. Um, so the field was, you know, pretty much dry. So they were able to drive onto the field uh, with permission from the principal. Um, so we got that stage set up. We, we do add some extra staging panels to the front of the, the stage line. So all the, uh, the faculty that's on stage are undercover and we had this, this nice uh, eight foot uh, deep lip on the front of the stage uh, with steps on both sides. So as they call students' names, they can walk up and cross the stage. Um, <clears throat> Thursday night, they had, a, they had a soccer game on the field. So we had to wait for the soccer game to finish. Fortunately, football stadium, they have lights. And sis, uh, setting up on the field at night, you, could, you would never know. The lights are so bright, you just don't you don't realize that it's it's nighttime. Besides all the bugs that are out bite, biting the crap out of you, but um, we got set up that night. Uh, we got all the banners hung. Uh, we do two vertical banners. We do a, a giant background banner, um, and then a ba banner on top of the actual uh, the trailer. We went ahead and pre-ran all the power for the speakers. Uh, we pre-ran all the XLRs. We had over sixteen different channels for microphones, for the choir, for the, uh, the the wind instruments, the performers that were happening on the podium, on sorry, the, the platform in front of the stage. Well, we had we had three mics on stage plus monitors. Um, we had confetti cannons. I mean, we had there's a lot of stuff going on. And fortunately, you know, Bubba has done this setup in the past, so he has experience, and that's why I really wanted him to come up to help with this setup because. I knew I had to leave for a prom at some point, and Bubba came up with, you know, ready to help and work, and Ryan Leonardo jumped on uh, on board to help us as well, took care of all the audio mixing for us, um, and I know with, with that combination, I, I'm, I'm in good hands, and those guys uh, just take great care of us and really, you know, represent JJDJ well, and I think that's the, you know, biggest thing is surrounding yourself in good people. You know, unfortunately, I would love to say that it's, you know, we have quantity, but really, it's it's quality to me. Um, you know, we, we definitely need some more people, but the people that we do have and we use on a regular basis, they're, they're, they're the best to, that, that, that we have. And um, I just, my voice is kind of lost, guys, but I, I, if, you know, any of the guys that were working with us this weekend are watching the vlog, thank you for everything. I mean, it could not have been done without you guys. I know that I, I physically could not do it anymore, you know, I, so I appreciate everyone. I, I appreciate Tracy and Felipe setting up the prom for us, um, and so literally it's when I left the the graduation, they were just getting to calling the names, um, and they actually bumped it up early because there was, there was a storm moving in, and I left early, uh, and Ryan, you know, finished off the, the show for me there. And I headed out to go do the uh, do the prom. What's going on, my friends? It's Friday evening at this point. Uh, didn't get any footage of the graduation. I feel like every time I vlog, it's hey, guess what? Didn't get any uh, behind the scenes footage for you. But I got a ton of aerial shots of the the staging and everything we did for uh, the graduation that we do their audio um, and visual for. Uh, we did a live feed last year. We for the live feed, we only had our uh, our data wireless card and that school has really spotty service to begin with and we had great signal last year and then once the stadium got filled all the data just got sucked out and, and we were just fighting the online stream all freaking all the entire event it was just a nightmare for the stream so this year they ran a fiber line from the school to the uh to the uh stadium and from there i ran a i, I made a cat five on site are actually cat six and ran a cat six about 300 feet which is pushed in the limits for uh, cat six cable or uh, cat six cabling and um it was it was amazing it made so much of a difference we had 70 megabytes up 
I was, uh, sorry, uh, 90 megabytes, 90 megabytes down and 80 megabytes up, and it was just amazing. It's so much better. The stream we, we were able to stream full uh, 1080. We were able to uh, keep a, a connection the entire time, no dropouts. We've uh, we've been using YouTube as a streaming service, which is great because they got a built-in DVR. So especially for graduations, if someone tunes in at the wrong uh, time, they can always rewind and, and see their their you know uh, child, granddaughter, grandson, friend, family member, whatever, uh, crawl walk across the stage. But every year, you know, when I listen to graduations, I, it kind of takes me back to. You know how what it was like to you know graduate and and you know all that hard work and you know when I hear the speeches it's kind of inspiring and one of the things they touched on is something that you know I always talk about which is just follow follow your gut. And, uh, sometimes you got to throw caution to the wind, man, and you got to follow your gut. You got to follow your heart. And I guess the piece of advice I'd give you before you get out of here is listen to that thing you got turning down in your stomach. All right, most of the time it won't let you down. Okay, so when someone's trying to make you turn left and you know you need to turn right, listen to that thing in your gut. Okay, that's the piece of advice I'm going to live, leave you with. All right, okay. You know, 90% of the time, you know, that, that feeling's right. And, you know, sometimes you got to follow, follow your gut and not go down the uh, path that everybody tells you, tells you to do. And, you know, I've built my company on following my gut and not listening to the naysayers. And so I hope you guys, you know, follow your hearts, follow your guts. So we're headed to, or I'm headed to um, the venue where we have a prom tonight. Tracy and Felipe uh, have been setting up that all day. Myself, Ryan, and um, Bubba. Bubba flew in from Florida, and I, I'm pretty sure in this video we've had some clips of Bubba. Um, but Bubba flew in from Florida to uh, help us out there. And so essentially Ryan's now leaving the graduation running off to another sound gig and uh, Bob is going to tear down all the uh, the sound and video from the graduation get it all packed up for us so it's gonna be a long it's been a long day already it's uh, maybe I'll, I'll do another video after this kind of explaining what went on behind the scenes so what we do is we have two full turnkey setups one outside one inside Ultimately, you know, because of the amount of staging and stuff we bring in for outside, you know, they want to have it outside. Um, and so they'll do everything they can to do it outside. Like, you know, today, usually the, the students walk across at the end and then the superintendent declares them graduates. So what they did, because we had a storm coming in, they bumped the students walking across the stage to literally right after the national anthem. And then, um, you know, once we knew the storm was going to miss us, they proceeded to do the rest of the stuff like the choir performances, the, uh, the student performances and the student speeches. So they got everything done and I, I know now there's a storm headed in and it's always challenging when you're doing these big events and you gotta watch the radars and you know especially with lightning and we have you know a bleachers full of people and we have an aluminum stage you know if there's any any, any uh, light kind of lightning we see we have to clear out the stadium we got to clear out the bleachers we got to clear the stage and we and it's kind of like the the rules when you go to the pool you got to wait you get 10 minutes after the last lightning strike before you can uh, re-enter the stadium get back on the stage so it took a lot of people cooperated together um to get it get it all done and we made it happen what's going on my friends we just finished up parkview high school's 2015 prom definitely a long day between the graduation and having to run out here to do uh this it was kind of nice that I was just able to pull what uh, Felipe refers to as elixir status and just roll up and go. But I tell you what, Felipe and Tracy, they set up everything by themselves. No help. People are champs, man. My, our team, not my team, our team. Our team are champs. They are the elite. They are the elite duo. Sleep is here banging out some pins. Bang, bang. I need your help. Because these are great. So if anyone has suggestions on how to make these uh, hooks better for these, because we really don't have anything, so we might just drill a hole. I don't know if they're, they make some sort of something we can attach. So 
these things like a hook of some sort. If you guys have any suggestions, leave it in the uh, comments down there. Because right now we're kind of limited, if you know. We're kind of limited to just kind of attaching it to this and it's not really the best way to go about it. I'm sure someone out there has a better So guys, I've been meaning to tell you something. We, uh, we hit the jackpot. Did you? You know what though? What? If I needed to carry it and some other stuff, I could wrap that around me. What? You would just do two loops and you're done? <laughs> why didn't you just? Why didn't you just connect the ends together and leave it no, like that? No. Look, it's longer than our road case, Felipe. Look, last time, last time you told me it was too short. Now it's too long. No, no, no. You know you, what? Next time I'll find a happy. Meeting. You got me mixed up with Sarah's thing. So the same setup is kind. Of, well, part of the same setup is going out next uh, week. So we left all the wires pre-wired, and then we got our new 70-inch uh, screens going up on another set of totems with our hashtag feed. Look at all those balloons I gotta go. Go pull down. That's some serious base right there, knocked out that light. The first time we were in this venue, venue and I think I have a photo of it, we, uh, we knocked out five of those things. And then after that, I think they uh, went through and tightened them all up. And you guys want a little trick? They make these uh, little plates you can buy. And we use this to mount our Source 4 on sometimes to do monogram projection. But it works well for anything wash lighting. Um, you can do movers on there. Like small movers, I wouldn't do anything crazy. Lasers. I mean, we use them for about anything. For y'all that have trailers, there's a company called uh, ProLine Trailers out of uh, or Virginia. I think it's Midland, Virginia or something, but they make these uh, aluminum flaps for your trailers. It works well for race cars, but it works great for uh, gear. Um, we finished the prom, pack up there. We have to from leave the prom, excuse me, we had to leave the prom and then go pack up the uh, the remaining portion of the, the graduation that Bubba, um, but actually Bubba packed up pretty much all of it. Um, he just got it all in the trailer for us, so we had to go through and sort through the trailer and get everything, you know, put away in, in the proper places. Um, and we had to also get the generator off the field. And I think we spent an hour looking for the lights to turn on the stadium lights outside because, you know, the the principal had left me the keys to the, the, the compound, essentially. So I, I had the keys to do everything I needed. I just couldn't find where the power was or where the, the, the switch was. Um, and we weren't planning on you know, being on the stadium that long. We were hoping just to be able to pull in and drive off. But we had to get everything packed up. And I still wanted to go do a spot check of the field because we use uh, um, ground staples to hold down the wires. Um, and I, liked, I still like to just walk through afterwards make sure we got every one of those up. Because since that field's used for soccer right now, I would just, uh, my OCD mind goes to someone playing, falling, and, and getting that hit in the leg or something. And I just want to make sure that I do my part to make sure that we've done everything as, as safe from start to finish. So we found out how to turn the stadium lights on, got those on, did a, did a walkthrough, everything looked great. Um, packed up the trailer, packed up the uh, generator, headed out, had to be back to a... Uh, Actually, we probably left at about 5.30, and I knew we could drop the generator off at 7 a.m., so we went home, just sat for probably 10 minutes, which, which was awful, because after that, I was stoved up. My back, my legs, everything was just cramped. Um, so, you know, we, we, we kind of killed some time. 7 o'clock, dropped the generator off. By the time we got done there, you know, we were able to get into the school's building at 8 o'clock to finish breaking down all the, uh, the staging. Uh, for the inside setup and, and finish all that. So after we got all that complete, um, we finally were able to go home and go to bed. And we finally got home about 3 a.m., uh, sorry, 3 p.m. on Saturday. And I did not get up until 9 a.m. on Sunday. 
So I missed pretty much all of Saturday um, and, and really got some some well needed sleep because it was I was running on fumes by you know by the time we finished Saturday afternoon. You know, I was drinking a Red Bull, and my eyes were just, like, spazzing, trying to close and go to sleep, and it just took everything to fight. But I got some interesting uh, videos and clips here from the uh, the setup uh, using the quadcopter, and so it kind of gives you a really neat neat uh, perspective, and also kind of, you know, can show you guys what, what, what we did. So I got you some of that. I got you some of the setup, um, sorry, of, of the teardown of the the prom as well as the teardown of the uh, Intelli stage inside and also I, I got some uh, videos showing you guys the Intelli stage because I know that's something I talk about and some of you guys haven't seen it or that you you haven't you don't know what the staging looks like because it's not like the traditional staging where you have the four four pipes as legs it's a it's a complete accordion style it's a very modular staging which is why we like it uh, for our our events that we do not so much for the rental purpose um, so here it is. Enjoy. Thank you guys so much. So I know you guys, a couple of you guys have asked about our stage that we use. So this is the Intelli stage. Um, it has the accordion style feet and I'll show you guys how those fold up versus the individual pipes. So there's pros and cons. The individual feet, you're kind of stuck to this height unless you add the, uh, the extensions to it and then you can stack them. Um, versus some of the pipes have the adjustments on the fly so you can get different heights but this works well for us um, we did get the tough coat finish it does have a punch out for some cables um, and the, the stage just kind of locks together with the allen keys um, which tightens up these little teeth right here that hold the stage in place but the top panels they're four feet by four feet they weigh about almost 50 pounds, and it's easy enough even with myself having a bad back to just, you know, pop up the top panel and move it. You go through and you just unlock each of these corners. And I like this because it's a really modular setup. They have the wheels for the bottom, so you can actually roll the stage around and have a portable stage. They got um, the guardrails for the back or for the sides, as well as pipe and drape add-ons for the guardrails, so you can use your own pipe and drape for them, as well as banner kits and a couple other different things. So here's what the legs look like when you take the top off, and to show you how easy it is, Trace just lifts from the middle one, and it just folds up, and you're good to go. And these things, they're, they're rated for a good amount of weight. Um, it does a pretty good job at dispersing the weight across the uh, nine feet that it has. So it's not good for outdoor staging, but indoor staging on flat surfaces, you're good to go with this stuff. So it's really great. It all comes into this road case. Road case is probably about five feet tall, probably about two and a half feet wide. Well, I'd say two feet wide. But um, all the legs are right here in the middle. The stage is slotted to the sides. You have your steps. This particular one's a three foot step, so we have four foot steps as well. The handrail sets in the middle. Down below, you really can't see it, but there's an under um, storage area where you put all the, uh, the drapes. Intelli stage, baby. <laughs>